Hey guys, welcome back. So I am back today with another Cozy Up To installment. This time we're talking all about historical cozy mysteries. Now, one of my reading resolutions that I made for myself was to venture out into cozy themes that I am not as familiar with. And one of those is the historical kind of sub genre within cozy. So while I was kind of looking around, picking books to add to my TBR, I came across a bunch of historical cozy mysteries that I wanted to share with you all that way if if you are also new to that theme or if you are looking for some inspirations of historical cozy mysteries you can hopefully use this list as inspiration now as usual let me know in the comments if you've read any of these and if so what you think if you would recommend it um, and also if you have other cozy mysteries that you recommend because this is not an exhausted list by any means <laughs> but just kind of a handful to get us both started um, again if you are new to historical cozy mysteries as well so with that said let's dive into the books Okay, so first up we have the Lady Eleanor Mystery Series by Verity Swift. The first book is called A Very English Murder, and this one automatically caught my attention um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's available on Kindle Unlimited, and then also the next point is because of our amateur sleuth. Um, this is set in the 1920s era in England. Uh, so we're kind of checking that off of the box in terms of the historical aspect. But um, what we've got here basically is a woman who most recently became a lady as in the title. And um, she returns to her um, uncle's estate to settle affairs after years of being an adventurer basically she traveled all over the world seen so many things and so when she returns to this um small town in england she now finds herself having to take care of things and do things that she's otherwise not used to while doing that she stumbles across a dead body and so naturally <laughs> she's inclined to investigate because when she goes to the police um, and they go to check it out the body disappears and so of course that means that they don't believe her so it's up to her to solve this mystery so i'm really excited about this one this is very um, kind of Agatha Christie and I believe that the blurb actually describes it as a book for those people who love Agatha Christie so um, if that's you then definitely pick this one up okay so next one we're staying in England but we're going a little further back <laughs> this one is actually set in 1816 and it's called a brazen curiosity this is the first book in the Beatrice High Clare series and so our amateur sleuth's name is Beatrice and essentially we've got ourselves a spinster <laughs> who feels obligated to solve a mystery now the reason that this one is so fascinating is because of a couple of things one basically a spinster um, back in the 1800s was just absolutely just ugh, gasp you clutch your you clutch your pearls you don't want to be a spinster because it almost means like you're an outcast um, but then also beyond that our amateur sleuth seems like a very powerful feisty heroine which we love to see because um, by her investigating this murder she's essentially going against the Duke's word and as we all know going against a man going against a man with a title any of that was just absolutely unheard of back then and so for our amateur sleuth our heroine to do that that really means that she must have some balls which i'm really interested in reading about um let's see there are uh let's see <clears throat> there are 10 books in the series so you all know i love me some series with some long backlists and if this one takes off like i'm hoping it will we've got a whole bunch to continue reading this series with oh and one more thing this one is also available on kindle unlimited um just to put it out there not every book is available on ku but i did kind of throw in a couple just so that those of you with subscriptions can go ahead and take advantage of it okay so for this next one we are hopping across the pond to the u.s and the name of the book is called flappers flasks and foul play and the name of the series is a jazz age mystery which obviously <laughs> between it being set in the 1920s and taking place in the u.s we know that this is the jazz age so um more specifically this series is centered in texas around an amateur sleuth who is a reporter um, but one of the reasons why i think that this is so interesting that really intrigued me is because of the description um it was really kind of dubbed as boardwalk empire meets downton abbey I mean, <laughs> those two things, if you're a fan of, you have to check this series out. And that's one of the reasons why I added it to this list. Also, I am in love with 
for some reason, anytime an amateur sleuth is a reporter, I think that it is a, not new, but a very smart choice um, to kind of rationalize them poking around and asking questions because one of my pet peeves is when the story is set up in a way to where um, our amateur sleuth just seems really nosy and a little bit obnoxious, because we do know that there has to be a level of curiosity in order for them to get answers out of people. But um, if it's not done in a very elegant way or it's a little clumsy, then the amateur sleuth can come off a little bit annoying. That's just my opinion. I don't want to go too far off track. <laughs> but that is to say, in this one, because she's a reporter, that really um, gives her a reason to go around and try to um, investigate and ask people questions. So I'm really interested in this one because I think that the jazz age has been glamorized so much and so to kind of combine that with a cozy mystery I'm sure has to be a good time. So this next series if you have been in the cozy world for even just a little bit of time I'm sure you've heard of it and so I feel like it would be remiss for me to have not added this one to the list and it's the Maisie Dobbs series by Jacqueline Winspear. Now this is a long-standing series I want to say there's almost 20 books um, in the series but it's set again in the 1920s but I believe in England um, and so this one actually takes place um, I want to say let me look um, after the war um, okay so I sorry I just wanted to kind of familiarize myself with the plot um, but one of the reasons I was a little bit kind of on the fence about this is because technically Maisie is an investigator and when it comes to cozy mysteries I guess if you're being tried and true um, they have to be an amateur sleuth but if you're an investigator you're technically not an amateur since it's your job but that's getting into the weeds and I don't want to do that I feel like this still earned a spot on the list because so many people have said such great things um, about this series and I have seen it multiple times walking in the library um, on bookshelves that use bookstores and for some reason I've never picked one up and I have to change that <laughs> I have to pick it up I have to see what it's all about um, friends of mine have read this series and say that it's absolutely wonderful I have to be honest I don't know too much about it other than when it is set and where it is set and that we've got a um, female amateur sleuth slash investigator um, but yeah, I wanted to include this on the list. If you are looking for a um, series that is very popular, that's kind of guaranteed to be really well written, definitely check this one out because like I said, um, Jacqueline Winspear, the author, has done a really great job, high praises all around, and so I feel like we can't go wrong with the Maisie Dobbs series. Okay, so for this next one, we are going way further back because it's actually set in the Victorian era, um, and it's called Snobbery with Violence and it is the Edwardian murder series. Now, I gotta be honest, there's only one reason that I, okay, two. Two, the first one is because it's Edwardian and I hadn't seen any historicals set that far back or in that specific time period, but then the second reason, which is actually the main reason why I added it to this list, is the author. So technically, it's by Marion Chesney, but for those of you who are familiar, or even if you're not, Marion Chesney is the pen name for um, M.C. Beaton, who writes the very famous, well-known Agatha Raisin series. So for that alone, I added this to this list because um, I really wanted to see their other work, especially something that was technically categorized as historical. I gotta be honest, I'm not totally sure what this series is about, but I did that on purpose because I kind of wanted to go into it blind, other than, again, kind of knowing the era, which is the Edwardian period, which I think was a refresher because a lot of the historical cozy series are set around like the Victorian time or the 20s, um, a lot of them in the 20s. This one definitely further back than that. So that alone, I'm like, yes, sign me up. Um, now, if I'm recalling, because I guess you guys do want a little bit of a blurb, um, we've got a lot of like aristocratic um, kind of things happening. So we've got a um, kind of like a spoiled um, woman with a title and then we've got another guy who um, the woman's father has hired to kind of check out her potential suitor. Um, it, again, I know that's not very helpful, but I didn't want to give too much away for myself because I wanted to go into it blind and really let the writing speak for itself because again, the author is such a compelling writer that I just don't imagine this series can do no wrong. <laughs> 
Okay, so this last one I'm super excited about because it seems so charming. Um, I have to be honest, I'm not sure of the time period. Um, it seemed historical in the sense to where I know for sure it's not modern day in like the 2000s or the 90s or anything like that, but I really added it to this list because it seemed like the quintessential coziness in cozy mysteries and that is um the tale of hilltop farm that's the name of the first book and the name of the series is um cottage tales of beatrix p and the p stands for potter so if you guys are familiar that might sound familiar beatrix potter is excuse me an existing um series but um this one is by susan wittick albert and i've read i want to say i've read one of her historical books before but it wasn't a cozy mystery it was i might have been a romance a anyway <laughs> this one seems so charming because of the inception factor so essentially what we have is our author um creating this um collection of cozy mysteries where beatrix potter is our amateur sleuth our main character and get this what makes it so cozy is that she is solving mysteries with her animal friends like how cute is that so she lives in this adorable cottage it seems very disney if i'm being honest with like the rabbits and the birds and all of that really charming and cute stuff um but again, she's really just kind of solving light mysteries in her small, um, her small town, which quintessential cozy. It just seems so lovely and warm. After I kind of read the general description, I didn't want to go beyond that. I definitely didn't want to read the reviews because um, it put such a cozy feel in my heart that if it wasn't well written, I didn't really want to know and have that ruin it for me. <laughs> I know, I know guys, I that's just how I am. But it sounds really fun and cute and I mean how many times can I say cozy? But that's exactly what it sounds like. So I will definitely be picking that one up for sure. Um because again, Beatrix Potter, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of that series and um to kind of have like another spin-off with her as the um, amateur sleuth is just so fun honestly <laughs> okay so there you have it a handful of historical cozy mysteries I'm excited like I said I've been really trying to branch out of my um, cozy mystery themes and I think the historical theme slash sub genre is really promising there's a lot of intriguing and interesting books that I um, have stumbled across even beyond just this list but these were again just to kind of get me going get you guys started if you want to do the same thing um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed this roundup if you've read any of these again let me know in the comments i want to know again what maybe your favorite historical cozy mysteries are that aren't on this list so that way you can share with the rest of us in case we need to add more to our tbr <laughs> so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do have other cozy up to um videos in this series which i will link below in the meantime if you like this video please like and subscribe happy reading and i'll talk to y'all later bye